Hi guys, welcome back to the Code Freak channel and freak out as you code. So guys, today we'll be learning something which is very, 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 very important in CSS and actually it can make your life very easy uh, if you can understand and grasp this uh, topic called CSS grid layout as such uh, very well. Okay, And it is kind of complicated also, so I would ask you to pay full attention uh, so that you can get all the things properly and you can gain the gain the best out of this video all right so let's understand what a grid is so you know a grid uh, especially we are talking about 2d here so it will have a x axis y axis or uh, it can have some columns and rows so let's consider columns and rows so that's what make up a grid right so we have a graph paper for example that's a grid example of a grid so we can try to make a grid type of layout here and so let's read some sentences which have uh, copied and pasted here. So the CSS uh, grid layout module offers a grid based layout systems with rows and columns, making it easier to design web pages without having to use floats and positioning. Okay, uh, that is uh, something which is important. Actually, people used to use this, but then CSS grid uh, came into effect. And then most of the browsers actually from uh, 2017, I think they started using it. And there are some restrictions also. So for example, a uh, Google Chrome, which uh, whose version is above 52 only can uh, access as such use uh, make use of this CSS grid uh, properties. So you can see some of the properties here. Uh, let's see what is this I've written here. So CSS grid layout excels at dividing a page into major regions or defining the relationship in terms of size, position and layer between the parts of a control built from HTML primitives. So first, uh, I've uh, given you kind of a small brief introduction of what CSS grid is. Stay till the end of the video so that you can get a holistic idea of what CSS grid is and watch the next videos also, uh, which are there related to CSS grid. So now let's look into some properties which we have here and then we'll try to uh, make a new file and then we'll try to execute some of them. Okay, so let me make a new file here and then I'll save it. Let's call it grid. Dot HTML. HTML. Okay, yeah, so I have a file here. Let's get the boilerplate. So I've got the boilerplate. So I'll put a CSS grid tutorial. Tutorial one. Yeah, here we will uh, start off. Maybe we'll have a diff container as such. Okay, and then maybe, yeah, inside that we'll have, okay, we'll give it a class. We'll give it a class called a class called outer and then inside we'll have it uh, we'll give a div and we'll give this also a class called maybe what will we name the class uh, to be so we can name it anything so i'll just call it item so this is the grid container as such which, which we'll have and then we will have many items inside it so for now we can have many items like yeah just some alphabets uh, that should be good so let me copy this and paste it a few times. So let us uh, try to uh, make a style tag here. So I'll make a style tag, uh, CSS uh, style tag. So I'll I'll use the I'll select the outer element or the outer tag as such. So yeah, so we have the outer. So now what we will do is we will uh, try to give it some design. So before we give it a design, we'll use the property display and then we will. Uh, put grid there okay so inline grid and grid we have these two options so we will use grid and then maybe we'll uh, in the future we'll try to use inline grid also so, yeah so what we'll do here is um, we'll put in something called uh, we have seen this function here which is grid template columns so we will try to use that so let's do that grid template so we have to create a template so i'll do that grid template columns and then what I'll do is there is, uh, so as we have learned about percentages, there is one more thing called FR, which is fractions, one FR, maybe, and then uh, maybe one more one FR, I'll do that. Yeah, border, uh, let me put in two PX, solid, black. Yeah, perfect. So let me just go to the page and refresh it. Yeah, so you can just see one line here, which looks pathetic. If I put in some elements here, let's see what happens. Okay. W, E, R, 
टी वाई एंड देन यू एंड देन आई या आई विल सेव इट नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द ग्रिड टेम्पलेट हियर ओके या दिस इज व्हाट आई वांटेड यू गाइस टू सी so you can see that it's kind of divided into two halves so if you actually see what's happening here is that um, you have uh, you have it divided into two halves so what i'll do is i'll put another F fr here so one fr let's see what happens okay so yeah see you get 1 2 3 4 5 6 so q w e r t y u uh, i so if i put one more so if i put here a uh, two fr say or uh, here Two fr, so you can see that this is two times the grid, and then here you have this much. So I'll select item, element, and then I'll put in some border and. So I'll put in some border, uh, and then I'll put in one px, a uh, solid. And say so I'll put black here, and then I'll put here none. So. me save it and let's run this yeah so you can see some kind of a grid that you have actually got here so you have nothing here right so that is something which you can see so say if i put another uh, fr here so you should have already guessed that you will have like five parts the first uh, fr will be taking that part and stuff like that so see yeah this is uh, two parts this is one part one part one part of the entire screen even if you go full screen it automatically it does that so in this way actually you can kind of uh, get a lot of things so let let me add in some padding and let me add in some mar margin also so let me do that so i'll put in some padding here padding of maybe 20 px everywhere all right uh, and then that's it yeah that's fine let me let, let just refresh it yeah so you got some 20 px perfect so let's center the text to put a uh, text align yeah text align and do center perfect so let's just refresh it yeah so that's something which we can actually get from the grid as such so let me go to the readme and let's see what all we have done we have aligned it based on the columns we can actually align it based on the rows also so i'll show you that now just change this to rows so i'll save it and refresh it so you can see that it went a down way downwards like this let me go back to this columns and then refresh it again yeah so kind of looks good so maybe even the next uh, video we'll try to put in some gaps here and then maybe uh, add in some more features uh, as such so just just find the video here on the screen which you can actually put uh, to continue and watch more of this css tutorial okay that's it for this video guys subscribe like and share